I want everyone to understand, when you're a feeder, which is this person, everyone's got these pads on, you're a feeder, your just important is punching. So as the trainer, you need to make sure, one, you're warm, and that your body's ready to take whatever, you don't know what, when someone comes into your studio, you don't know what power they're gonna have, what power they're not gonna have. And when you ask a guy to put gloves on, are they always gonna try and hit you hard? Yes, because they don't understand you. They just want to show you, well, I can do this, I'm strong, I'm fit, I'm healthy. All right, so we've always got to make sure that we look after ourselves first. And the bigger you are, the harder they're going to want to hit you. All right, so a guy will come up to me, you go boom, 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 and I'm like, no, no, you can you actually hit me, it's okay. So, but it's all about warming yourself up first. So you just start off, everyone needs a warm up. So I'm just going to get you just left, right, nice and easy. I don't mind where your feet are right now, this is just a nice little warm up. We're just going to get the blood going through your arms and through my arms. So when you do want to knock me out, I'm ready to hold on to it. And in garden cups, let's go. Uppercut. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This is just warm up. The further you are away as a feeder, the harder it is for you to be able to catch it using your body weight. If I'm out here, I'm going to catch a lot of it. Just go back into the uppercuts. If I'm too far away, all of the pressure that goes, when he starts picking that up, it's going straight through my hands and my elbows. I'm here. And back to the top. Left and right, straight over. Can you see my hands? So they're just going forward just a little bit. Where are my pads? Are they in front of my face? Yep. Or am I out here somewhere? Not in front of his. Because I want him to be able to do, the same as when you're doing anything on any of the machinery, it's got to be functional. So if I want him to punch me, if I'm holding stuff here, what's it, what am I doing with his body? I'm taking it off exactly where it should be because punching is going to be right here. So if I want to hold pads, I'm sending the person somewhere else. So I'm going to get you to do just two less. Where's my pad? By your face. Right. So you go that way so everyone else can see. Two less. Two less. So even the left, it doesn't start anywhere else. Shoulder rotation. Now it comes in from there. You end up doing a lot of damage to your shoulders. Everything stays close. Doesn't matter because if he misses the pad and he hits me in the head, I'll probably headbutt him anyway because I've just got to teach him that he's got to make sure he's on time. <laughs> Not really. I don't mind getting punched every now and then. Just as long as you know if you punch your trainer, you'd be expected to get one back. <laughs> Another thing that I'm going to share with you is when you start to, when you've got through your warm up and you want to start punching hard, everybody punches at the white thing, yeah? If, so that's your point of contact. So when you punch me hard, do a left and a right. How's your feet going? Right. Is that better? Yeah. Sit down a little bit. Feel that? Yep. Different. So as you sit down with that foot up. So your target is that white spot, yeah? What if I say your target's near the back of my hand? So I want you to drive through that white spot and I don't want you to stop. So when you do a sprint, how many people stop before they hit the finish line? Quite Lots. Quite so as long as you keep going past that finish line, you're always going to beat them, aren't you? Because you're going to be quicker. So when you punch, so with your, just say we're, we're all learning how to be boxers, we want to get in the ring. So I'm getting ready to like, spar with you or fight you or whatever. If that's my target, how much pain do you reckon I'm going to put through compared to if that's my target? So now I've got to actually drive through your nose, through your face, to the back of your head, and then I'll stop. What do you reckon that's going to do? Okay. Knock them out. As someone who's working on just doing their boxing stuff to get fit, get healthy, get strong, how empowering do you reckon that's going to be when they can actually drive through your pads and feel it? Let's go again. Just nice and easy. I'm going to do two lefts and a right. Two How's your feet? Now where's your target? Yeah. Do you want to push through or not? Every time. Every time? Yeah. You're going to hit it, you may as well hit it properly. Alright. Now his power has just increased. Can anybody tell roughly by just looking at him? Yes. Has it increased or not? Yeah. Probably about probably 40% from my end. So add 40% onto to like 70% he's already doing, he's already gone over 110, it's probably gonna hurt me when he hits me in the face. All right? So nice and easy. The first thing we're gonna do, I don't mind if you keep the pads and stuff off to start off with. When we do do pads, just get with your partner and just warm up. And stand over your partner because you've gotta make it real, it's like what? No point being here. Am I gonna do my back in doing something like this? 
Everything's here. And if you wanted to go lower, just say bend over a little bit. Down you go. Because you're the one that's coaching. All right? So you've got to tell them where you want them. Relax. So you can take your gloves and your pads off for a minute. Sit them wherever you are with your partner. Before we learn how to hit, we have to learn how to walk, yeah? Because boxers walk a funny way. <laughs> oh. Not really. So whatever you lead with, so your the reason I ask if you're left or right handed because whatever hand you normally write with, that's your stronger side. So that's the side we always want at the back because that's going to be your power hand. And the hand that's at the front is just that's your feeler hand. So even when you're jabbing, it's just most of the time that's your feel. Unless you want to hit hard all the time. Alright, so get to, into whatever position. So if you're right handed, your right leg will be at the back. If you're left handed, your left leg will be at the back. Except for you because you're changing. So we have an injury. We've got someone that's got a, an injury here, and Josh has just come out of surgery. Had it, or what's the, what did you just take? Had your calf taken off? So for Josh to try and put, put like the, keep his back foot up is way too painful. So we turn him into a south course. So he doesn't have to miss out. He doesn't have to neglect his technique. We change his. The front foot can stay flat. I personally like to have both feet up, but a majority of the time your front will, foot will drop and come back up. So we've taken care of that. So if someone's got a problem with their feet, problem with their legs. If someone says, I've gone and done my knee, I can't train. Yeah, you can. Come and sit down. You can box sitting down. You're still going to get huffy and puffy. All right, and they're still going to feel empowered. They're going to feel great, and they're going to hit things. All right, so they're going to have a lot of good, good uh, things come out of that workout. So let's go right leg back. It's probably going to be easier if we sort of try and do two lines going, maybe facing that way. Because as soon as I say go left, go right, we're going to go boing, boing. Yeah. And I'm blind and I thought of that all on my own. How good is that? <laughs> yeah, just jump into two lines anywhere, facing that way. Take whatever foot you need behind. Let's move up a little bit. We can do three lines if you need, because I don't bite. Biting's not one of my four toes. I'll punch before I bite. <laughs> Actually, got to meet a Vander Holyfield. Is everyone over here? Mike Tyson bit his ear off. Damn, girl, you can punch. <laughs> so from where you are, back foot's up on the ball, nice and light on your front foot. The lighter you are, the quicker you can move, right? Your front foot is basically your pivot foot. So to move, we lift up the, whichever way we want to go, we lift up that foot and we just step forward. No, it's just one step. It's really easy. It's just step. And you want to go back? Lift that back foot up, push off your front foot. Leave this in one spot. Here. Here. Here, back, forward. It's that easy, it's ridiculous, isn't it? How to walk like a boxer. Because everyone thinks you've got to do something like this. <laughs> and that doesn't work, that's how you get hit, because while I'm up here, where's all my body weight? Yeah, Can I punch right. from there, or do I need to be down here? <laughs> so if I'm here, moving around the ring, you're pretty legal the whole time. All right, so nice and easy, just step, 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 step. When you see someone dancing in the ring, they basically want a bit of a break, they want to get away from someone, they have a bit of a rest, get their air back, and get ready to set up for the next combination. You left or right handed? Right handed. Right -handed. Are you right handed? What hand are you right with? So that's going to be your back hand. Just remember, whatever hand you write with, it's your strongest hand, that's why you write with it, because it's the one that can do stuff. So it's one that's going to deliver the big punches. So your right hand is always going to be your knockout hand. Well, let's say your right hip will always be your knockout hip, because where do we punch from? Our hip. So we've learned how to go forwards and back. We're going to go side to side. Now, if you've got some south balls here, you might run into someone, so just be careful. But again, if I want to go to my left, what do I do? Left leg up, little set. Come back. Over, back. Over, back. Over. Now who's ready to dance? We're going to put that in a little sequence. Are you ready? All right. We'll do a little bit of Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> so we're going to go forwards, back, side, side. So you'll always go whatever side you want, whatever side you're comfortable with. Forwards, back, side, side. Forward, back, side, side. Who's got their back foot on the ground? Put your hand up. You just had your heel on the ground when I was talking then. Oh. Yeah. Very good. Forwards, back, side, side. Forwards, back, side, side. 
Oh, can we not leave anybody out this chain? Oh, uh, what was that? I could have knocked you out then. <laughs> change, boom, change. When you're boxing, it's all about agility. It's about just that fast movement. Forward, back, side, side. Forward, back, side, side. Let's go. If your heel hits the floor, I'm going to need you to do push-ups, all right? So if I find a heel hitting the floor on your back foot, you're in trouble. Can we move to this side? Yeah. You go forward, forward. Yeah, you your brain's actually thinking now because you're not used to being on this side. This thing's going to look up there. Yeah. I'll move on my right. Step. Oh, yeah. Forward. Back. Step. Step. So you're doing forward, back. You're jumping there. Jumping there. Forward. Back, step, step. So whichever... You can put your heel back when, when you come back. Yeah, as long as you come straight back. Oh, yeah. Forward, back, side, side. Forward, back, side, side. So my foot will go... Well, my leg's still cocked. Yeah. See where my foot is? So it looks like my heel's down, but it's not. Yeah. So I've got like basically all my weight is like on that back leg, right on the ball. So I'm always cocked, I can always take off. Oh, yeah. Hey. So whichever way you want to go, that leg picks up first and takes off there. One, two. Okay. When you see people fight, when they're boxing, what do they do? Show me, someone come out and show me sort of where they stand and what happens. Oh. I'm your target. So we're going to box. We're going to stay a safe distance from each other, so this is what we call a bit like similar to shadow boxing, but you show me how you would fight if you're a boxer. Okay. So most of them would just be doing this, yeah? Everything's head on and we just move in a straight line. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. So the next thing you need to learn, when you can learn how to go forwards and backwards, you're going to learn how to pivot. Because I could be here with you, you're about ready to hit me, I pivot, I step, bam, bam. The quickest way you can drop someone is by anything doing the liver and the kidneys. The liver is always the best one. Alright? If you've got blonde hair and sometimes you forget what side the liver's on, don't worry, just look at the other side if you can realise they haven't fallen down yet. So what we're going to do from here, is we're going to sit down, we're going to go forward, Back, side, side, pivot. Yeah. Now watch how far my leg went. Pivot. So I'm here in front of you, I'm getting ready to fight. I pivot. He's still punching that way, by the way, because he doesn't know where I'm going yet. Then I take that little step and then I pivot. By this time, he's actually trying to turn around to get to me and I'm just going to keep pivoting. There's no reason why you can't hit them to the rear of the body if it's coming up underneath here. All right? So any one of the things that, and you'll see most boxers do it, everyone tries to knock them out by hitting them in the chin, part of the work, because most people are too stubborn. And even when they feel a bit dizzy, they'll back off, they'll move around, they go, oh, all right, now I'm back, go up my head. All right? So always focus on moving around your target. It's a chess game. That's all it is. So from here, we're just going to do a simple pivot. So just boom. Stay where you are, make sure your feet are nice and close. As soon as you take your leg out, where's my power gone now? My leg's out too far? Have I got any power? No, because all my weight's here and I'm, I'm about to sink down. So it's all close. When you want to pivot again, little step, pivot. Little step, pivot. Little step, pivot. So do you always um, you know, pivot like your leading foot first? <clears throat> Can do anyone. So if I'm here with you and I want to go the other way, Boom. So I just turn. So it's just a little step, turn, I'm still side on. So if you're trying to punch me in the head, and I drop down, boom, boom, boom. Alright? So you can pivot any side. Just your front leg is usually your easiest when you're trying to get used to how to pivot. Alright? So grab a partner, whoever your partner was, or if you want a new one, I don't mind, you can swap. Grab a partner. So I want one of you to basically stand there as if you're punching this way and I want the other person to start to pivot and just do really light stuff around the body. Because if you don't actually feel it with someone on you, it's not about hurting anybody. So if someone's just throwing some punches, so it's like, it's like you're boxing at me and I'm catching with my hands, boom, 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 boom. Alright? 
So just catch them with your hands. We're not hitting hard here. This is just getting you an idea. Oh. Grab your partner. Even the gloves, even the gloves. You've just got to catch with your hand. The focus is on your feet right now. So when you're going to get your feet out, really, don't start on one. Is that good? Is back to you already? As long as you don't hit him in the back of the head, or punch him in the back, but this is okay. Now he goes a team to come to me. I'm back around. Boom, boom, boom. He'll turn now. Boom, boom. All right. So the pivot is the most important tool you'll ever find. So just get comfortable. Now, if pivoting was easy, every boxer in the world would do it. So it's not, but it is. But what makes perfect? So that's all it is. So keep swapping over. And it's nice and simple, so someone's just going to punch at you. Just punch. When, when you're ready, just down, pivot. Boom, boom. If you feel you're too far away, it's only up to you to take that extra step. Boom, boom. Notice when I just jump then, I'm down here, I've taken a step. As I jump, boom, I punch as I land. So I'm punching down. So I'm using body weight again as I'm hitting the ground to get in there. Boom. All right? So just spread yourself around the room. <laughs> And you've got to move, so you're too tight here. You're going to relax. So when he's punching, you'll be with your back to the front. Please remember that if your back foot hits the ground, your back leg is relaxed. So being able to move the pivot won't happen naturally. Right? This is like, it's like popping a gun. So who's doing the pivoting here? You? You're pivoting? So, okay. so, so don't, he's not, you know he's not going to hit you, so just punch at me. You know he's not going to hit you, so just step in. I'm here. Boom, boom, boom. There's your pivot. Alright, your pivot won't always, depending on where you are. So if I'm here and I step, I've got the perfect pivot to step. Your pivot will get you out of his firing line. There's your pivot. Then you've got to step to make something else happen. <laughs> 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 So, so, I'm punching you, and you're going to pivot. Okay. okay. So, so you're punching good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's it. Beautiful. But don't stop at one. If you're already out of there, boom, 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 so, boom. Because you want to stop me from breathing for a while. So then you can come back around the front and go, do whatever you do. All right? So when you get to the side, just get comfortable in it. You get boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. All right? Try a couple of minutes. Don't waste your time. Combo. Yeah. And whenever part of the body is open, boom, 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 boom. Whenever it is open. So you don't just go, right, this is the combination I'm doing. It's just, I'm just going to go with the flow. And usually you're just alternating from side to side. But you can do one, two, three, because no one expects a model woman to punch the front arms. Let's go. Much better. Always aim for a target though. That's the target and their targets. Right, so anything here you won't score on. So always aim for a target. Go up the other way this time. Also? Yeah. No, no, but are you right handed or left handed? Lift by the right. So you're left handed, so you would probably be able to be a, a multi demonstrator. You'd probably be able to box on both sides. So check the other leg forward. Your weight, that's it, that's it. So when you pivot that step and just get you out of the way, then you've got to position your body to wherever it's going to set you up in the front range. Oh, God. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It's too much hard work. So for me to be working on bags, it's much easier for me to stand here and walk around the bag like a lazy fighter. And whatever I do on a bag or whatever I do on my shadow box hang is exactly what I'm going to do in the ring. Because whatever you practice, you become. So if there's not many of them, boom, 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 boom. So we're not, that's shadow boxing by the way. So I've got someone in front of me, and I'm going to hit that person, then I'm going to move. Boom, boom, boom. So my shadow boxing isn't like, which you see most people do. It's a creation of a fight in your mind. So there's your opponent, boom, boom, I'll hit him, where am I now? Boom, boom, boom. I'm here, boom, 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 boom. Duck, calm down. All right? So we're going to have a little go of that, so spread out a little bit. And I want you to just have, you've just got a picture of someone in your mind, and you're just doing a little bit of work on them. Pivot, boom, boom. Focus, there's a body there, so hit the body. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. All right, have a little go. So the next time you walk into somewhere and someone's shadow box is doing a bit of this, know that you'd be able to knock them out straight away. All right. There's nothing better than when I go to a, a weigh-in or I, I step in the ring. And when you step in the ring when you go to fight, someone's got to throw punches, right? Because that's what they do. So some of us be here like this. That's a very small percent. The others will be like this. How do you reckon they're going to fight? Because at the start of the fight, you should be at your peakest position. Yeah? So when they're like this, I'm like, I just have to pivot. That's all I have to do. Because that's exactly how they're going to fight now. Alright, let's go. Okay. Just your shadow box on your own, just move around. You don't need a lot of room because the person is just there. The thing that they're hitting, you duck underneath. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Do you feel comfortable when you take it off side to side? Yeah, Do you feel comfortable when you take it off side to side? Yeah, I sort of do. No dancing. Do you feel like you're going to go side? So if I'm here, I'm just trying to get my body weight back up too far. That's why I teach you just that little thing. Look how much leg you use. Alright, just keep your feet close to Too much, don't pivot so deep. Just boom, just a little pivot and just start stepping with your feet. Show me how you're going to keep.
Gillen. I'm like the most unthreatening person. <laughs> <laughs> How do I throw a punch? Well, Throw your handbag out. at them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's all about the movement with the body. So if I'm here, yeah. so I want to punch this way, I'm going to work with it. So I'm going to work with it. So body. So front, front, side, side, body. So simple. And I want you to lean over a little bit. Come in. Now, here. And again. And again. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I'm the most unviolent. No, I've got a special little thing on. I've never had no someone in my life. So I'm like, oh. That's why I want you to relax. That's why I'm giving you a body to do it. But I want you to just keep going. That's it. Uh, like, left right. You can do two rights, you can do any right. How's that feel? Weird. Is it a bit cool though? Is it a bit cool bouncing off someone? And then you follow. <laughs> this isn't violent. If it was violent, I'd be yelling. Yeah. All right. So it's not violent. This is. A, I look at this as a chess game, or it's like moving a movie. That's pretty good moving. You can pump that out in the ring easy and get out of the way. Do you want to show everyone that one? He's quick. So take the whole violent focus off it. Because boxing will get you fit and strong and healthy, and then you can imagine. Yeah. All right, it's not about running 10 k's. If you can go and do a couple of rounds on the bags, you're going to do amazing things to your body. Okay. All right. So it's just relax. Just pretend you're a big teddy bear. Right. Huh? How are we going over here? Everyone's going? Yeah. Getting there. Getting there. You what? Actually, have you just managed to punch each other's hands? Do you have your naughty corners? Uh, I think so. I don't know, but they took shadow boxing to punch each other in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> It can't all be done at once, so you, your body will move different than mine. Your legs are a lot longer, so you better get formed really quickly. And then the other goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it? How's that feel? Better? So don't think that it's all just a pivot and then you stop. You've actually got to feel where your body brain can move. And you'll find your own person right here, right now. Alright, so you move where you want to. I'm going to see right now. Oh, hey. Ooh. Yeah. Have I lost? <laughs> now, where was the gentleman? <laughs> so you were my shadow boxer last night, weren't you? Nah, nah, and I said, how do we shadow box? That wasn't me. Now, do you want to show me how you do it now? Show me how you shadow box. I don't box want to be put on the spot. No, no, you're not actually on the spot, because there's lots of spots and everyone's on their own. <laughs> <laughs> I just have you do it on that spot. Right, right. All right. And everybody else will throw some punches. <laughs> But not like this, so we'll just throw some punches as if we're just boxing the person in front of us while you do yours. Yeah, so course. we can all look. How different is that compared to last night? Heaps better. Maybe 20 times. Good coach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit me. No. Don't hit me. Makes a big difference. So even psychologically, you go from just going, oh, I've just got to get boom, 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 boom. When you create the actual fight in your mind, that's what you train against, that's what you actually go in and do. Grab your pads, grab your partner, grab your gloves. Coming up with our partner like these ones here. Yeah, yeah. Yep, well done. Because we have done a bit of shadow boxing, so we should be warm. But you've still got to get your body ready for connecting with something. There's two lefties. Oh, two on left today.
when you step into a competition or on a bag or anything else. So if you just, even if you're just doing it nice and easy, you still need to make sure your heart's in there. Because is it worth doing something 50%? And if we do something crappy, how easy is it to do it crappy again next time? Really easy? So even here, drop them down. I'm not going hard. I'll go hard later. I'm not going hard. You need to catch them a little bit more. If you don't catch properly, if you don't catch, someone's going to get an injury. It'll usually be the person that's trying to punch. All right? So just get relaxed with your partner. Does anyone get a bit worried when they put pads on? Do you want to be worried that they had a cat? Me. A little bit. Of course it's me. I'm going to rock you like a little baby and teach you how to knock people out. <laughs> All right? That, that, will be my, that will be my mission. Okay. So nice and easy. You've got to remember, their arm's got a distance to go. Yours only going to go here. The further away from your body you put it, the harder it is to protect what is yours. Understand? Because if anyone punches me out there, it's going to hurt me. So if I come up to you and go, boom, is that going to hurt? Not at all. Do I hit your body? Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, he has a whole different story, but boom. So pad stuff out here, someone's going to end up with an injury. Protect it. And be comfortable in what you do. If you're training with someone and you're just getting used to pads, say, can you just go slow until I'm comfortable with this? Because that's what we're here to do, we're here to learn. When it comes to training someone, you say, I'm going to use the gloves, I'm going to do a little bit of pad work. Just so I just want you to nice and relax, just find your position, but I don't want you punching out here somewhere, so the pad's going to be right in front of my face. Alright, I just want you to nice and relax, and then you'll start feeling the rhythm, but if you don't pick the pads up, you won't feel the rhythm. So it's all about practice. The more you can pick the pads up, the more you can hit them with the gloves, the better you're going to get. Alright? So let's go, everyone's nice and warm. Yep. So we know that our front leg and our front hand, our front hand, whether it's a left or a right, no matter what side you are, is your jab hand, yeah? Yep. yep. And our back hand is what? Back hand. Okay. cross. Jab yeah. cross. So let's start off nice and easy, jab cross. Straight away. You're here? Nice. Nice. Nice, bro. Nice. So make that your front leg. Yep. Okay, everybody, just. Who would like to be my pad holder? Yep. Yep. Okay. Everybody, give me one thing they learned last night. Give me one thing you learned. Just feel out. Never give up. What's wrong? Okay. Take that's awesome. Take me back to your boxing. What did you learn last night? Stance. I told you at least three things last night. Give me one of them. Yes, perfect. Punch Stay of close. Two knuckles. Yep. Stay close. Yeah. Put your back foot up. Cover your face. So where's your back foot? Behind your back foot. Okay, who's going to hold my pads for me? Yep. Ryan has stepped up. Hello. <laughs> you just like it here, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm seeing today. Everyone's up on their back foot. Boom. Watch where my body is. What am I doing? Shoot. How am I going to get back in? Hit him again. Step because in. if I'm here. Cool. See the difference in my legs? Yeah. And there's a couple of you already that I'm saying go jab, so you're here, and then this is staying here. And you go like this. Alright? It's got to be one, two. Because if you got, if you punch with your hip and your hip's still out here, where's your power? Still out there somewhere, isn't it? All right. Boom. Back. Boom. Boom. Back. Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. Happy with that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Who gave him the twenty bucks before? I did. Okay. Yeah, through the head. So again. Pads need to be enclosed, boom, boom. Worst comes to worst, someone might do that. So they hit the pad and fall off. Don't worry about it, it's not gonna hurt you. Boom, 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 boom. Jab, cross, jab, cross. When you wanna pull your punch out, 
So we don't just leave it there. Pull it out. Boom. Pull it out. So we come back to your head. Boom. 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 Got it? Yeah. Can we give it a go? Why did you, why did you pull it back so you keep it going? Good question. Jump in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to jab at me. Oh, we're gonna pretend you're close one. What? So you got to jab at me and you're gonna leave that, that hand there. Boom! 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 Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> well, you pull back. How's your cheekbone? Yeah. <laughs> Everything you do, like I said, boom doesn't hurt anyone. Anything inside this is painful when it gets hit. Even if you're trained to be a boxer, it hurts. Put them up. Put them up. You hold. Oh. Boom. Just protect yourself. They might miss. They might not hit you. They might not be ready to hit you. But better to be a preventer than a curer. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. It's like a race course. I want you to get to the hole. So when you're feeding, when you're feeding, your stance should be the same. No weight on your back foot or all your weight but on your ball, sorry. When you feed, you imitate the fighter because all you're doing is just holding pads. And instead of having gloves on to hit back, you're doing exactly the same stuff. So don't get lazy and just stand there doing this or do this stuff. Back foot, boom, 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 boom. The feet are still got to be... When you start learning how to feed really well and someone pivots, you've got to be there to pivot with them. All right? So you're actually just still practicing the same thing as a feeder. All right. Show me what I just showed you. I showed you a left and a right. Who's going to punch this man? Yeah. Apart from me. Pull back. Pull back. Okay. Pull back. How'd that feel? Alright, well, well done for coming out. Where was your target? Um, that's not really focused anymore. Yeah. So this is, what did I say to everybody? Left, right. Left, right. Did I? Because I want to get you to feel good about one punch and then one punch. This is what I'm saying. Your stance is being still great, but are you feeling empowered by what you're doing? And is the pad holder getting a chance to learn how to actually catch a good punch? All right, so everyone slow down. These are all doing fantastic. Slow down. We're not a race horse. We're not going off. The, the gun's not going off. This is about teaching you the basics about how to hit. Boom. How good do you feel catching those? Pretty good. Pretty good? It's about learning both sides here. Alright? Keep up the good work, you're doing great. Yeah, so it's from there. So I don't feel strong there, drop a little bit there. Alright? Back in. 
and I look at how you served up last night and who we are now, massive improvement. I'd have actually probably back and start sparring some of you. Alright? Biggest thing that we're getting still, that I need you to remember, is you punch from your hips. Everyone's left hand is just fantastic. The left, the hip's gone, you're here, you're cocked, ready to go, and we get to here and this hip just stops. So it must be you fellas that you need to dance more. Alright, you need to maybe do more wow words. Alright, I'm sure Rowie and, and K-Man have you done a fair few of those. You've got to loosen up here because that's where it comes from. You've got to sit down. As soon as those legs come out straight, there's nothing in here. It's got to come from here. Alright, there's no, as soon as that foot goes up, there's nothing there. The hips stay still, there's nothing there. And pad person, if they hit hard with their left and they hit the same with their right, do you think they're doing it properly? If they hit really hard with their left and they hit really hard with their right, like really, really, really hard, do you think they're doing it properly? Yep. So as a pad person, can you tell the difference whether someone's hitting really hard or they're not? Because you feel it. So if the left and the right feel the same and the, the right or whichever, whichever the, the cross is, if it feels the same as a jab or not much different, the hips aren't like, getting engaged in the whole action. Okay, so for you to know if someone's holding the pads, if it feels the same, you've got time to use the hips. Drop the knee down. Throw the hip. It's all about just throwing hips. Boom, 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 boom. All right? Swap over. Actually, the, no, no, stay with who you are because the other side got much longer to go on your left and your right side. We're going to do a nice little combination. Nice little combination. So this is, again, this is not about power. Hello. <laughs> she let me go to bed last night, isn't she lovely? Someone's going to look after you. So again, both of us, back foot's on the ball, because the pad person's doing the same. All I'm going to do is one, two, one, two. Just one, two, one, two. Boom, boom, boom. All right, this is more of just a nice, we're warming up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. What's my hips doing? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. What are my hips doing? Okay, I'm going to keep it still now. I am? Yeah, I'm just going to keep it still. That's how. How's no that? Pair. How's that? No. So forget about so much about always going fast, one after the other, after the other. If you have to, one, two, boom, 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 boom. Get the feel of it. Do it with your clients as well. One, two, one, two. Get them to feel that. It's amazing what a client will do and how much more they'll pay and how often they'll come back when you get empowerment enough to be able to guard themselves by being able to hit properly. So as personal trainers, we think, I'm happy puppy, yeah? I'm reasonably fit. I might be a little bit heavy, but I'm reasonably fit. So you're going to get happy puppy off this stuff. So from here, one, two, hips, boom, boom, boom. That's all I want you to work on. One, two, one, two. Get yourself back in. One, two. All right? No one's always going to be perfect. You might feel yourself slipping off. Sit yourself before you throw the punch. Don't half. Go here and then go and throw something that's not going to hit. Give it a go. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Yep. I'm waiting to count a little bit of that. Thing. Is anyone feeling like they haven't quite got it yet? Do you think you could be punching too fast? Slow down. This isn't a race. I want you to feel how good it feels to hit something properly. Pad holders, how are you feeling? Good. Lock those elbows into your body. Lock them in. This is your catch position. If I've got weight, if I've got my elbows here and people are hitting things, what's happening to my elbows? And there's power coming through. Is there anything protecting them? No, the power's going through here, driving through my elbows. What's going on with my shoulder? Snapping. Okay. My dad, love my dad, he's an amazing man. He's been holding pads for a long time. Do you think he can use his arms very well? Still a lethal weapon, but in a lot of pain every day. All right. Here. Elbows in. Boom, 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 boom. They've got a whole arm to go. You've just got a little spot. The closer they are to your face, the easier they are to control. Okay. Left, right, or, or jab. Sorry, jab, cross, up, cross, Hook. 
don't think about it, because then it would become hard. Because I'm always thinking the harder it gets. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. I haven't even got you punching off one hand yet because I just want you to go with the flow. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook. Watch my hook. I'm not here because what happens to my arm, my shoulder, and my elbow? So even if I miss and I clobber them here, what's going to happen to my arm? Boom. Boom. Hey man, I shared this in the car on the way back. He said that when he's when he's fighting now in competition, because everybody in half one day throws lots of kicks, he loves throwing a hook because it's just to hurt him because they can't see it coming. They can see it coming if it's out here. Boom. Hip. Boom. So think your elbow is going to be what hits. Three hip. Boom. Have a go. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook. Jab, cross, up, cross, hook. idea of how my body moves, whether it's four punches, six punches, ten punches or twenty punches, then my hips still go from side to side the whole time. Don't worry about trying to punch your partner's pad off the hand. Focus on your movement, focus on your hips, focus on your feet, focus on sitting down, focus on your breathing. There you go, that's what, five seconds? Not much to focus on. But don't think that you've got to knock them out, it's got to be so fast every time. You're the puncher. They can't catch something you don't throw. So until your body is ready, then throw it. They've only got to move here. But as soon as they see that hip go, they'll know they've got to get out there. I'm spoiling you a little bit here. I'm taking you a little bit beyond what many of the personal trainers would understand about boxing because many of them are just here. It's here and it's here. So I'm getting you comfortable. So when you go home and you're watching Telly get up and dance and make sure your hips are going, so you feel good because when you want to teach someone how to box, who comes to learn how to box from you. Because it's not about, you don't have to teach them how to fight. It's about how to teach them how to be empowered, how to feel good. And when you use all your body, do you get huffy and puffy quicker? Compared to when I'm just doing this, standing here. Probably going to do a back injury because nothing's moving. So just relax a little bit. Remember, it's a contact sport, so stay close. You can't punch off too far away. Oh, your partner's ready. <laughs> they like she's not a high heel today, are ya? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Usually, so we can slip something else in with no one looking. <laughs> usually, rattles them a little bit. You'll get two warnings first of all, they can disqualify you, so you can do everything cheeky twice. And after popping 10 rounds of massive headbutts, I get a little bit cheeky now and then. And I like to talk to people while I'm fighting them too, so it really puts them off. So I say, geez, you got beautiful eyes. Boom. Okay. okay, so you'll hold my pads. Where are the pads? Okay, just watch me. Where am I? Because I'm in charge of what? What am I in charge of? If I'm, if I'm punching, what am I in charge of? You, you. My punches. So if I need to hit the person, stay in here, because someone just said, just move your hips, how's that getting me? No now if you watch me, I actually demoed it first. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Step in. It's a contact sport. That's why you get to hug them and throw them into the rope and try and get them off balance and all sorts of stuff. Excuse my tissue. Alright. Front two knuckles. Have another go and then spin it over. And we're just gonna go when we spin, we're just gonna go right hook. Right hook. Alright? Just have another go at that combination, you two or three more each. And then some oh, Show them what you just did. Willie, you show them what you just did. Give us a go. Show us what you did. Tell me what's going on here. <laughs> Swing it. 
So I've asked Amy if it's sparkly because I love her so much. So if she'd done that swing thing, I would have just come up into here and just started in here. Who wants to be my pad person? Someone. My elbows stay here. Did you, did I do any of these? Did you see anyone see any of them come out of me? Because I'm five foot three, I'm 43, I know I'm sexy, but the minute my arm goes there, where's my power? It's out, out past my backside. My hips and my backside are what's going to give me everything I need. Is that what you're holding? Is that what you want? Boom, 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 boom. Where's my hands? Everything's still connected to my body. Because the minute it goes, then I've got to try and round it up and bring it home again. Don't waste the energy. By the time that arm's gone down, you've been hit five or six times and you're possibly going to injure your client. Boom. That's why it's really easy because they've actually just got to hit this part. So when they swing there and you duck under, they miss everything. Elbows in. And then get ready to change two more. Just for those swingers. Okay. Oh, it's you. Oh. Okay. Did the other team get a go at that? Yep. Has everyone had a go at that? Yeah. Okay, so one thing I love doing when you're in the ring is no one ever, ever expects it, especially when you're sparring or you're fighting. They don't expect you to do more than one punch with one hand. At the most, they don't expect you to do more than two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right? One, two, three. Just catch it nice and easy. Just nice. Okay. Relax. Okay. Elbows in. Just boom, 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 boom. One, two, three. Two, one down. Back over. Under. One, two, three. One, two. Where were my hips the whole time? Where's my hip now? Can I still hit with this one? Yeah, you can cross. Boom! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can cross. Oh, yeah. But if I'm already pinched in here and I try to cross, I've got to try and come up over that hip. So I would just swing it and have my body weight. All right? One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Let's go. Right hand. Oh, right hand. Oh. Right hand, right hand. Oh. It's easy. Three, two, two, one.
If you feel like you just start with one, two, one, one, two, one. If you and your partner feel like you're ready to get go a little bit further, do the one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. She's got you've got unbelievable strength when your strength's all over the place. So bring it together. Oh yeah, bring it together. Where's it going? Throw it from your hips, come to your face. Up. Up. Go on top of her. Go on top of her. Hey, no, no, no. Go forward, go forward, go So close to it. My ears keep up We do it straight up in under the ribs. All right, so when people are holding pads up here, like right up here somewhere, and we've got people trying to do uppercuts, how much hip movement do you reckon they're going to get? Talk to each other. If you feel like it's uncomfortable, boom, 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 boom. I'm here, I'm still moving that hip area. Not as hard, because I don't want as much power in there, but I'm still moving it. When he puts them up, boom, 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 boom. It's still got to come from there. Just because I speed up, I slow down the power, I sort of keep the movement going. All right? Let's go. If you've done three sets, 10 up, 10 under, 10 up, 10 under, 10 under, 10 under, swap over. 